Hello Leo and welcome to Adventures in Pixieland. This is going to be your weekly reading going from December 5th to December 12th. This space has been cleared and these decks have been shuffled and cut with your energy in mind. So we are ready to jump in. But before we do, let's handle that busy work. Please do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell below so you will know when Leo content is uploaded. Leo content comes out every single Tuesday. If you're feeling my vibe and would like a personal read, please feel free to check out that description box below. If you're really feeling my vibe and would like to subscribe, please click on that link to my Patreon account in the description box below. Patreon subscribers get a certain number of free monthly personal readings depending upon subscription level. Also down there, um, you'll find all of my social media contacts. And across all of those platforms, you'll get your daily energy reading, which is made up your Elder Futhark rune, and your daily astrology reading. It does have affirmations. Please say those in increments of three. Any positive languaging that you're trying to reinforce behavior with, say in, you know, quantities of three, three, six, nine, and the like. Okay. Anything where you're trying to negate something, i.e. no, stop, enough, I will not, I choose not to, etc., Odd numbers, not divisible through by three. For instance, one is enough. No is a complete sentence. You also down there in there, uh, you'll find um, my link to my Redbubble store where you can get this mat and other products like it, as well as uh, the ability to contact me across any one of those social media platforms. I just ask that you keep it professional and respectful with you. We're um, a little short on time this week, uh, Leah, while I prepare for travel uh, for myself. So I need to uh, move this along a little quicker. I'm not going to give you the exact, exact astrology movements. I'm just going to give you what they mean for each day. Um, this is an astrology oracle. That's a new oracle deck we're playing with this week. So if there is anything in particular that cross-references to anything I know is in here, based on the planetary movements, I'll tell you what day that is. So we start off uh, mainly... First day to worry about it at all, if you want to use the term worry at all, is the sixth. It is a waning crescent moon. We're building up to this new moon, okay? That Neptune does go direct in Pisces. That's a big deal. So um, balance is your goal today. And it might be hard to keep the balance because anyone who's been trying to send out confusion energy, like I've been telling you, they use their own language to expose themselves, and it's a case of whether or not we choose to, you know, give them the benefit of the doubt or not, because we've been doing that lately, uh, we'll no longer be able to give them the benefit of the doubt. They're just going to show you how crappy they are, and it's going to be abundantly obvious. On the 7th, it's the beginning of the Hanukkah season, so happy Hanukkah to all of my Jewish watchers. Uh, today, big ideas are everywhere, but you're not going to be happy to just talk about them or daydream. So you're going to need to look for those actionable items. Only focus on what you can actually build on. Don't waste your energy on the rest. Um, still down here with the waning crescent moon. Only now, uh, everything's in, in Scorpio. There's a bunch of stuff in Scorpio, and it's all opposite um, Jupiter, retrograde, and Taurus. Okay, about hard work. There's not enough energy for the day to accomplish much of anything. Okay, it's taking a rest day. In fact, I have a, I have myself have myself scheduled um, a massage for that particular day. So it's definitely a rest day. Next day to concern yourself with is the 12th. That is a new moon. New moon. Start new projects and phases within your life. It's a great time to gather your thoughts together and plan for the month ahead. That uh, new moon is in Sagittarius. That means by now there's four new moon uh, oracles out for you. So uh, you should look for them. They, uh, it's a good time to start new projects with those 10 new moon wishes, okay? So make sure that you write down things you want to bring into your life. It is also a portal day. It's a 12 12 is a portal day. So optimism is running high, right? You will going to need to be listening for spirit because the portal day is about listening to spirit. It's going to give you signs and synchronicity 
about what direction it wants you to take because on this new moon, you're gonna have a choice. You have a choice to put a new thing on pause, like if you feel like something took off way too fast and you feel like it's all out of balance and not right, put it on pause. Or you can choose to move very quickly to accomplish a goal. So if it's moving fast, but it feels right, you can choose to have it keep going. Spirit is asking you to pick your destiny path. Like pick your own adventure. If you ever remember those books when you're kids. Or RPGs if you're more a video game person. Leo. November 5th through the 12th. Leo, 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 November 5th to the 12th. Leo, November 5th through the 12th. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. I hope that this reading resonates with you. If you are a new viewer, welcome. I will clarify all these cards. Past, present, near future, someone to you, you to the someone, balance, outcome, summary. I know that was quick. It's okay. We'll go over it in more detail. This is a general reading. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. There is no gender in tarot. You are either walking up to someone and talking, or someone is walking up to you and talking. And this whole reading is a conversation between you and at least one other person. Some cards do mean groups. On this channel, relationship, like this is a group, that can be a group. Depends. This is really definitely a group. This can be a group. On this channel, relationship is defined as a continued interaction between any two people. I'm describing energy. You're going to place them on the person that sounds like. That's the relationship you're talking about. Six of Wands in your past. Somebody either wanted recognition. Something was brought to your attention. Um, you could have been feeling just particularly victorious. Maybe you had a great day, a great win. You know, you got a promotion. You got a raise, whatever might have happened like woohoo look at me right uh five of wands though there was a conflict five of wands um group conflict it's arguments it's pettiness it's you know competitive jobs right it's a uh, like like if you're competing with somebody else for sales or something like that but it's also a heated argument usually within a group setting the star card there's an element of destiny at play here. Could be with an Aquarius. Aquarius energy there. Uh, Nine of Cups. Right, your present moment, you're focused on your happiness. That Nine of Cups. Moon card, Cancer Pisces energy. There's something that's unclear to you. Eight of Swords, and it's making you very up in your head. Could be about a Pisces, could be about a Cancer. Hierophant is Taurus energy. It's also about higher education, higher learning in the divine. Seven of Pentacles, waiting for something to grow. Seven of Pentacles. I need to be patient. The Fool card, Aries energy, but taking a leap of faith is the bigger focus there. 
page of wands some excited communication coming in and a lot of it with that eight of wands the world card is about travel motion or movement uh, seven of wands somebody could be feeling defensive because of this communication uh you know one plus seven equals eight right so it's a cyclical thing you've had this argument before right it's that argument that subject matter is going to come back up somebody might feel defensive about it what is the six of wands in leo's past what's going on here yeah you had a blessing come in it's good it's nice what's the six of wands in leo's past from a relationship what's the six of wands in leo's past from a Queen of Pentacles, what's the Six of Wands in Leo's past? Hangman. Pisces energy. So, uh, Queen of Pentacles, any Earth sign? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, heavy on the Capricorn. Also a card of Sagittarius. Six of Wands. Some sort of blessing that came into you, could have been financial, doesn't have to be though. Uh, possibly from a Pisces, could be from an, an earth sign, a Sagittarius. But it felt like a victory. But you might need some sort of higher perspective even though on a relationship with somebody here, with this Queen of Pentacles, whoever that is for you. What is this Five of Wands? Oh, somebody's fighting because they feel sad, sorrow, damage, bereavement, loss. They feel left out. What's this five of wands? What's this five of wands? What's this five of wands? It's Gemini, Virgo, energy, uh, ten of swords. They feel betrayed. That's why there's this argument here. They were trying to manifest something here. Maybe some money. But they feel betrayed. They feel left out. You could have been trying to manifest the money. Because, I mean, who doesn't want to manifest money? What's the star card? Conflict. This conflict was meant to happen. What's this? It could be with an Aquarius. What's the star card? What's the star card? What's the star card? Cancer, Pisces energy. What's hidden from you about this conflict? If somebody is blocking some sort of reconciliation. Four of Pentacles. There's an element of destiny behind this conflict about this person's blocking you or trying to block you I mean it feels like they got jealous about something lost lack feeling betrayed right that's why there's this conflict it needed to happen so that some you know something they were feeling could be exposed to you you needed to see something about them through the fight. What's this Nine of Cups? Natural disaster. Okay. What's this Nine of Cups? What's this Nine of Cups? What's this Nine of Cups? <laughs> Nine of Wands, any fire sign? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Evie on... The Sagittarius, also a card of uh, Scorpio. Interesting. This person's going to come rushing in, bringing in some sort of offer, Ace of Pentacles, to this relationship, regardless of what the relationship type is, doesn't matter. 
Nine of Cups, so it will make you happy. What's this moon card? Okay. Cancer Pisces energy. What's this moon card? What's this moon card? What's this moon card? What's unclear to you? Right, moon card, Cancer Pisces energy. About this break, about this rest, Scorpio energy with this uh, judgment card. Is there some old fear here that needs to be balanced out? Libra energy could be with a contract, document, paperwork, marriage. There's something unclear about a court situation, about legal paperwork, or uh, or there's just an old fear. Could be from something or someone before that's coming to the surface. What's this Eight of Swords? Commitment, binding, contract, obstruction. So there's some, some thing, some contract document, paperwork, marriage, that's got some red tape wrapped around it. And that's why you're up in your head. What's this Eight of Swords? This comes from this family unit. What's this Eight of Swords? I would look up the angel number 888. It's 888. You're going to need to use your discernment here. This could involve a Libra or a Virgo, Aquarius, a Gemini, but heavy on the Libra and Virgo. There is a need to you know, kind of cut through the BS here. Cut through the red tape. Get out of your head about it. Walk away from it. Eight of Cups. What is this Hierophant card in Leo's future? Trap? Yeah. The Divine is trying to expose a trap to you. What is this Hierophant card? If it feels like somebody's false, it is. What's this Hierophant card? Yeah, what's this Hierophant card? So Scorpio energy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's kind of funny. <laughs> okay, so it could be a Scorpio, could be an Aquarius, could be a Taurus if you're interacting with. Take your pick, okay, because those are the signs that are here. However, <laughs> there's also the possibility that this is quite literally the divine trying to talk to you. Because remember the portal day, 12-12, right? The divine is trying to talk to you to warn you about a money trap. A trap you've been in before that's trying to come back. So just careful. Don't get trapped. What's the seven of pentacles? Yeah, there's something you're not seeing. What's the Seven of Pentacles? What's the Seven of Pentacles? What's the Seven of Pentacles? Okay. What's the Seven of Pentacles? Seven of Wands. Okay. So you're looking for growth, trying to be patient, but there's something you're not seeing about the choices that are being made here that you're involved in this argument, this Five of Swords argument, Seven of Wands. You're feeling defensive, so this is going to be you, about this argument, about this Five of Swords. But it really is actually a case of you're not having the right perspective. The Divine's trying to show you. What's the Fool card? It's a full card in Leo's balance. Yeah, nightmare. You need to take a leap of faith away from the situation. What's this full card? What's this full card? What's this full card? The full card is clarified by the full card. Okay. So this nightmare situation will come to an end with like an apology here. I'm allowing you to move forward because uh, King of Swords, any air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, heavy on the Aquarius, 
uh, also a card of Capricorn. Somebody's going to come forward and apologize to you for behaving this way, for, you know, for acting from their insecurities, you know, things like that. They're going to take a leap of faith. What's this page of wands? Justice. Balance card. What's this page of wands? What's this page of wands? What's this page of wands? Okay. So, hmm. you're going to find out information about this contract document, paperwork, marriage, that was the cause of this fight here in your past. This, right? Because you can't manifest from a lost lack mentality. It has to be played from a place of abundance and joy. You're going to find out about this fight, about this contract. And it's going to bring an end to a situation. But the situation it's bringing to an end, remember, you've been fighting. Five of wands twice. Five of swords. Seven of wands. These are non-energies. Confusion. Eight of swords. We don't want to be in these energies, in these nightmare energies. So in this case, it's a welcome tower. Because it's a change that needs to happen. Okay. What's this world card? Reservation. Okay. What's this world card? What's this world card? Yeah. What's this world card? Yeah. You're going to move forward. That's Leo energy. This page of, of wands uh, coming in, you know, this situation with that tower. Uh, Nine of swords reservation. That's what's coming to an end. Like this overindulgence or extravagance, the the uh, attributing um, a status symbol as important is part of this nightmare situation that's going to come to an end. That world card, you know, with, because of the tower, so you can move forward. Because, like I said, that's you moving forward. What's this Eight of Wands? Alliance. Okay. You're gonna, there's going to be a compromise. What's this Eight of Wands? What's this Eight of Wands? Okay. So whoever this King of Pentacles is. Any Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, heavy on the Taurus. Also part of Aries. Whoever this is, King of Pentacles could also be a boss, father figure, something like that. Whoever they are. They're going to have this realization that, you know, about this uh, Three of Swords. About this, this outside influence. About why this isn't sustainable. How come it's not going to work, right? There needs to be an alliance. There needs to be a compromise, right? So you need to come to a compromise. And that's what's going to be communicated. Somebody's going to have a realization about something. About how to compromise. What's this seven of wands? Illness. Feeling defensive because of a sickness. Um, you know, feeling fragile, feeling weak. What's the seven of wands? That's why you're feeling defensive. What's the seven of wands with this emperor who's a married man? What's the seven of wands? Could also be a boss. What's the seven of wands? Could be the father of your children. Seven of wands. Could be a father, you could be a father. And that could be you. Cancer energy. You're feeling defensive because of some sort of illness. Right? Something being wrong. Which is part of like this whole tower situation, right? But you're gonna talk about it. You're gonna talk about motion, movement, and travel with whoever this emperor energy is. Okay, and let's get you. Message for Leo, Capricorn, the boss, the boss, okay, I'm not sure if you have Capricorn in your chart or if there is Capricorn, um, is any of the signs that you're dealing with, I, um, 
so it is also a need though to take charge emperor energy seven of wands you might need to have this conversation you might need to be the one to have the conversation to start the conversation if you want to because you, know, you have to make the choice if you want to have this leap forward if you guys don't talk about it it'll never be sorted and the resentment will stay Leo, December 5th through the 12th. Advice for Leo, December 5th through the 12th. Seven of Swords. King of Wands, that's your energy. Some sort of uh, deceit or strategy is at play here, and that's why you feel deceptive because. Uh, why you feel defensive because there's something not being told to you and you can feel that so just lead in with that and that's enough of a reason to ask those questions this is uh, the angel answers oracle if you have a yes or no question uh, please think it because this is the deck that can answer those things is your opportunity to pause the video to think of one to three questions because I'm going to pull three cards message for Leo Yes, don't stop. Message for Liam. Get more information. Yeah, ask those questions. Find out exactly what the problem is. Put your keen, penetrating mind to the task. Advice for Leo, December 5th to the 12th. Advice for Leo, December 5th to the 12th. Advice for Leo, December 5th to the 12th. So this started in October with that uh, full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus <laughs> and uh, continued into November with that new moon in Scorpio, which was the last uh, new moon before this week. And then the energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon, hold your vision, fixed moon, look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius, end of a tough cycle approaches, full moon in Capricorn. Okay then. So, um, what is being righted right now is a, something that has been occurring since last year sometime at least something that was not something was going on in the past that shouldn't have been and that's why things are being sorted now you have to allow for release full moons are about release advice actually just message message for leo you belong at times you have felt you do not belong in this world as if your life is a strange dream, magical one. We assure you, this world has a place for you. You belong. I hope that helps, Leo, because it's what I have for you. And just remember, as you go about the world this week, that you are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars and you have a right to be here.